going on youtube it's your boy my be and i'm back with another udy reaction video you guys already know man i love reacting to these types of videos like any type of video that's like that has the potential to get me mad bro like you feel me that 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 really be my best content when shit gets me mad and I, i'll listen bro i'm such a chill dude if you know me in person but it's just like it takes a lot to get me mad and it's really it's really just over dumb shit bro like like honestly i hate when when something could be so simple and 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 motherfuckers make it not so simple you get what i'm saying that's what really grinds my gears but anyways we got is his girlfriend cheating on him while at work udy loyalty test let's get straight into the video i don't want to waste no time i really like this chick but like she's kind of done some stuff to me and i don't know hey what you mean by that just like let's really try so then yeah thinking all the time yeah, I've been overthinking too much, and I've been drinking way too much. It's like, oh damn! Uh, why are you drinking, bro? Like, I don't understand this shit. Why y'all? Why y'all let females stress y'all out to the point where you start drinking more? Like, fam, you're gonna get a beer belly, fam. You can't. You can't listen. I'm sorry, bro, but it's some people that really have to hear this. You can't just be out here doing anything, anything for a female, and then like. You feel me? Adding surprise when some shit goes wrong and like you end up getting hurt and stuff like that. I mean, we'll just you feel me? Just, are you prepared for the possibility? There's, there's that a fine line between being a simp and like treating your girl good, right? And if you're out here being a simp for a female, that's not like she, you feel me? She's not giving you the same type of energy. You got to leave her, bro. You got to leave her because that homegirl about to stress you out just like this dude. She gon' she gon' make you start drinking. She gon' start making you smoke more weed. Your lungs gon' turn blacker than my damn uh microphone. All right. So make sure she might fail this. You have the one for you. For just because of what's happened and stuff. So like, there it goes. Our decoy Jarrett will be testing and I'm still eating my cinnamon toast crunch, on her and asking her on a date. Will she remain loyal or will she entertain Jarrett's advances? She tells me she in the Spider-Man Cup. I got this shit when I was like five. It was like my fifth, my fifth like, birthday. Like, bad. This is her. She basically looks like the same right now. She's just wearing some uh, blue jeans right now and then the sweater, a black sweater. So that is her right there. Our plan was to divide this loyalty test into three phases. Phase one would begin at Emily's job across the street. We're here with Eric. He's left his car behind and we're gonna start our reconnaissance. Thanks to Eric, we knew that Emily was working, but to make sure that she wasn't on the break or anything, mean? we sent in Leslie to do some reconnaissance. Our plan was very simple. Jared would walk into her job, again? pretend to be a customer, and then get her number. He would then begin communicating with her and eventually invite her over to his big house with his nice cars. Damn, that the engine sound baby. loud. I think it should be reversed. I feel like you should ask for her Instagram first because I know she won't give her Instagram because I go through her Instagram. So she's going to say no to that. But then I feel like if you say her number, then she'll be like, okay, because then she can kind of hide it in a way. But... And so what does she usually do when she's working? Does she like walk around or does she like just uh... stalk stuff? Or... Listen, first off, bro. First off, she going to know this shit fake. Because to all the fellas out there, man, listen, when you go to a female, you gotta get the number. The number, the number for me is kind of like the end all be all. You feel me? If you go up to a shorty and she don't want to give you her number, bro, that is your bro. Like, 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 come on, 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 come on. If she don't want to give you the number, she's not really feeling you, bro. She's not. If she trying to be like, nah, I don't give out my number. You can have my Instagram though. What's gonna happen is you probably gonna follow the bit. All right, and yo, and yo, desperate ass right there, fucking picking your boogers. You gonna be waiting five, twelve months. For this shorty to follow you back and she's never gonna follow you back that's all i'm saying is bro the only thing i'm saying is you gotta get the number if she don't want to give up the number she's probably not into you and i'm not saying it's the case 100 percent of the time you could definitely get the ig and then from there you feel me you feel me shake and bake a little bit but more times than not you gotta so get what the number, usually bro. Doing? She's working. You she like walk around, or does she like uh, to stalk stuff? Or no, just, she's usually just in her section. She likes a day. She just works whatever shipment she got and stocks it up. Just stocks it up, it. and that's yeah. it. And, and wherever she works, is there you like a, she, she usually secluded? Anyone can have the like, IG, but like if right you're different, different, she's gonna give them the number. I mean, I guess if it gets pulled, then yeah, it's kind of like a little like. But it doesn't really get too full because it's not that big of a store, not too okay. many here. Yeah. Now, the reason Eric wanted to pull this test specifically at Emily's job was because he's caught her doing some questionable things with her co-workers. 
So you caught she got a her, work like, husband? Other guys? My friend that actually is working right now, he saw, for one guy, he saw that she, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like she was cool with it and stuff. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like no, a co-worker. Oh, a co-worker. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh my God, bro. Damn, my worst, bro. Bro, this is why you can't, bro. Some of these shorties be having work husbands. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yo, nah, this is insane. And it's like, and and it's like, what what do you even do at that point besides leave? Like, if you wanna, if you wanna stay with the bitch, I mean, bro, if you wanna stay, like, you got you gotta go ahead and you gotta talk to the coworker, bro. Catch him on his break or something. Walk into the break room, motherfucking act like it's your first day. Hey, your name Adam, and it, you feel me? Just like erases his ass, the other bro. Guy, his girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work they also like kissed and stuff, and like, like yeah, like flirting and kissing, oh, like bro. If if that's not enough for you to just leave, what are you doing, bro? This is bro. This is literally what a simp is. The shorty does not treat him with respect. She out here kissing her coworkers, sexing her coworkers, probably calling and fucking her coworkers too. And he's and and, and bro, you still want to run this test? Stop being such a punk, so, fam. One of your girlfriend's coworkers' girlfriend hit you up telling yeah. you, "Yo, this is what's happening." Yeah, because she's the one that saw the messages between them. I didn't know because obviously, like, she hides them and stuff. Like, oh, I, wow. I never, I never, like, I guess, I never really checked through her phone until then. Okay, and when but you did you? Her, like, doing but this, did you talk to her like, though? Did you confront her about it? Did you, you like talk about it and stuff? And like, I don't know. Like she, the way she would talk about it, it seemed like she kind of didn't care. No, all right, bro. All right, bro. See, to, like, kind of why would you need a whole like, test for this, bro? Like, At this I point, you just, just want really you you just want like, some screen time. And other than that time, have you caught her? anything with anything else and stuff or i mean i like before like once when the relationship was barely new she, like she would message uh on instagram and stuff but like never like link up with nobody it was just pure messages and stuff but i mean yeah. it's kind of hurt too because uh i understand her like i guess her side because this dude is sad past, bro this dude kinda, is like, sad as fuck stuff, yo so, like i mean i guess you could say there's trauma there too so how long have you guys been dating him right now it's gonna be a little bit more than a year so like you really like this girl you really want to be with this girl i, mean, I honestly do it's just that i just want her to tell me stuff like be open about her emotions and stuff and like about just everything i want nothing hidden bro fam like and then, like like like, like it doesn't matter what she says fam she's out here smashing co-workers fam you get what i'm saying what do you mean you want her to talk about her emotions do you want her to talk about how 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 motherfucking the 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 other buddy made her feel Come on, bro. Just, like, just, just grow hair and She doesn't tell me stuff. So. Oh, so you guys used to work there together? Yeah, for a good while. But then I ended up leaving. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Is that how you met her? Like, yeah, working there? Yeah. Okay. The reason I asked Eric if he really liked and wanted to be with this girl is because there are way too many red flags in this relationship. I mean, in this girl. She is kissing people, talking to people, deleting messages. It's too much. Personally, I would have ended things a long time ago. I mean, yeah, thank you, bro. Someone put up with this for a year, sense. though, is crazy. I see that as an outsider looking in, though. Like, if I really were to put myself in his shoes and in his situation who knows if i'd also be blinded by love i want to say i wouldn't be but who knows could have yeah. we're trying to understand her past and her trauma but that no, shouldn't fam, justify her behavior if she no wants to do everything that she's doing fine just stay single for that. But, i mean you hey, who are we to with judge we're just here to help eric find some you hold peace hands of you let someone kiss you, you on the cheek and you, and you think she's gonna feel cool fast. with it i think things have been going a little bit for a bit right now so hopefully she does what did he say he said he feels a bit good things have been going a little good for a bit right now so hopefully she does I, th I think she might pass, but if she does, it, yeah, it's like it's not like she hasn't hurt me already. So wow. I used to watch you a lot. I used to. Oh yeah, uh, bro, like a lot. Can we take a quick picture? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Damn, but get a fan love. It's like the first time in these videos that this shit happened. Yeah, big thought to ask. Did she have something going on with her coworker and stuff, or like was it just like? Uh, that kiss on the cheek and like That's this texting. Thing. I feel like if she never would have got caught or whatever if they would have told me, I don't know what could have led up to. Right. But like, I just don't want to be throwing too much business out there. Yeah, no, I feel it. I feel it. You just don't know what might have happened. I guess. Yeah. We talk about stuff like probably like many times, and it's kind of like the same thing over and over again. It's just I feel like kind of now she kind of gets it more, but it's still just kind of like the same stuff over. And over. Okay. I just wanted to get it. Yeah, oh my god. Her, but if she doesn't want to do it, she could just tell me. 
Yeah. Have you given her the opportunity nah, to say that to you? Nah, have you given bro, her the opportunity to like, have that yeah. conversation? Yeah, yeah this dude's a bitch. I've like, heard, I've heard everything I needed to hear, but this dude's a bitch. So, okay. He That's is. what he's going through. Like, I know it's not something easy to say to someone you don't agree with them, but... Right. I feel like she could do that with me. Yeah. Eric's right. It isn't easy to tell someone that, but it's necessary. It ain't cool to lead someone on and then tell them you really want to be with them when you don't know. Honestly, it's either yeah, you want to be with them or no, you don't. Leaving this uncertainty in the middle does more harm than good. Did you see her, Leslie? I think I did. Yeah. She works in that section yeah. to the left. Okay. So dairy section to the left. She'll probably come out right now. She's the only girl there. But yeah, I mean, I her. To, that's her. We're going, we're going oh, that's talking to her. Ooh. This is the customer. Right? Ooh, dude, wait, who's that guy? There's <laughs> <laughs> already a guy talking to her. <laughs> nah, nah, that is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. My job is done. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the customer, though. So. Hey, man, I don't yeah. know. He's kind of cute, though. <laughs> That was good camera cold. Which, which Pause I that, that, fam. Pause <laughs> that. I love your priorities, man. <laughs> With Jared now knowing where Emily was and what she looked like, he was now free to enter the store and get her number. Phase number one was officially in full swing. All righty, dude, so how confident are you that she's going to pass the test? I mean, as long as she just says she has a boyfriend and then okay. um, tells me about the situation, that's about it. Okay. Because, like, I mean, if someone comes up to her and just asks her questions and stuff, kind of like the guy was doing, like, I don't expect her to tell me that. Like, that's pointless. In the way. I just want to like, Yeah, right. Like, you, you just help the customer, bro. So I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Okay. See, but then there's also guys that are like, like they don't want their shorties being friendly to anybody, and it's that's just not realistic. Especially if your if your girl has a job, man. I mean, obviously she's gonna have coworkers that like she could be cool with, but I mean like the shit that she doing, bro, like kissing and tell, like like all right, bro, that's od. But you feel me? You you could be friendly with the coworkers, whatnot. You could do uh, you feel me? You could you 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 could talk to customers. But once it starts getting to like that flirty kind of like, oh, like I'm trying to see what you want type of type of topic, then I would I would expect mine to like, you feel me dead that right away. But if if she's just like egging it, like like if, if she's like ended up liking that shit, then we gonna it's have to have a talk. Kind of like shop around. We gonna have to make have it a seem talk. All legit. And then he's gonna make his move. <laughs> Don't forget your talkies. The last was to discreetly follow Jared around. Getting a solid angle, but not following too close as to get caught. After pretending to shop around for a bit, Jared eventually makes his way to the dairy section of the store. <laughs> Gotta tell Shorty to hit up the gym, <laughs> bitch. I work at a gym, bro. I'll give you free membership. The guy who was talking to Emily was no longer there, but neither was Emily. There was absolutely no sign of her. It was crickets. The worst case scenario was happening. We had done our reconnaissance, yet somehow things still played out this way. My best guess was she was either in the bathroom taking a leak, in the back grabbing something, or worse, on a break. Thankfully, after waiting for some time though, she eventually returned. All right, she's back. Okay, babe. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. This is it, dude. Uh, okay, okay. Excuse me. She, she almost went hey, bad. Can I get your advice on something, please? Well, why y'all got commercial breaks, right, bro? So, why y'all got commercial like breaks? It's a YouTube meal. video. What's the best thing over here? What would you get? Like cheeks or anything? Or? Anything. Like. What's your favorite? What, you, what would you go for? You cook? A little bit. Okay, so if you was cooking, what would you have? Damn, it kind of sounds like she's like not giving him any conversation. No, yeah, she's loyal. She's probably not fucking with him, bro. It's good. So, she's mean, probably not fucking with him. Is, so. Oh, okay, got it. I know oh, you ain't never mind. So this... ready to make fried rice. No, I said like, I'm trying to go like all out. Like pasta. Pasta, bread, shake it. Hell yeah, I'm black. It might just be me, but I don't really feel like Emily's giving Jared too much conversation. This could have no, been due to stress, annoyance, or concentration in her job, or like Eric said, maybe she's just like that, a very quiet person. This is not like us. Okay. Try to go all out. Would you pair this with like some uh, wine or what? Yeah. Okay. Garlic bread. Help me out. You're my tour guide now. Excuse me. I have a question. Oh, come Damn. on, bro. Stop. Right when this test Stop. was really like, about to on, start, and things were going to get good. Emily gets pulled away by another customer. I hate that <laughs> shit, fam. Like, I hate, bro. You know you know what I hate the most? 
is when you're you're at your job right and you helping a customer and then the person that's like next in line or like someone just like from within the store just comes up and starts asking you shit like bro i know i know listen bro listen 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 i know you see me helping another customer why why the hell would you come up to me and and tell me to do something else when you see me right here with the customer bro i don't understand that at all it makes zero sense and then you get mad when i don't help you right away are you my mom to just give like, me bro, a second. You don't wait your turn, turn, bro. I hate, but, I hate but, when people yeah. think the world Honestly, revolves around I felt them. like Jarrett was about to start cooking. Like, I could see where he was taking this thing. And she was with it, too. Like, she was down to help him in everything. Like, he was about to bag that number. You can help them real quick. I'll be back. Go ahead. Okay, okay go ahead. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. World we'll class act by this hey, guy. Hey, this thing ain't over what yet, Remember, for phase one, all Jarrett had to do was just get her number. Chicken Alfredo. Watch this. Jarrett had to wait for a good while. This lady needed help. It's funny, she used the same tactic that he used to talk to Emily. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> she just might be a little bit too busy in there, dude. Uh, oh, but I mean, the way she's kind of responding is just basic and boring. Which is what I tell her is like, just answer simple. Like, mm -hmm. just, oh, that's good. That's, by, that's good by me. Like, it doesn't have to be like all extra and stuff. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Okay. So essentially what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to put together this whole meal. What about alcohol? What do you think? Like liquor? Liquor. Liquor. Lick. You got Hennessy? Hennessy, yeah. Casa Amigo. Is that your favorite? I don't drink, but I see people, you know, posting Casa Does Casa Amigo go good with some garlic bread? I've drank with it before. It's only taking like one cup. That's about it. Damn, we should have told oh, we forgot. This? She smokes. Which one no. Would you drink with? no, she didn't smoke. Uh, hey, uh, you, you're supposed to be helping me out. Let's go. What's your name? I'm sorry. Jared, nice to meet you. Hmm. Jared had finally introduced himself to Emily, and I gotta say, everything up to this point sounded very professional. Yeah. She also seems like a straight edge. I mean, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. She might have a very good chance at passing this test. But hey, then again, just because you don't drink or smoke doesn't mean you're loyal. Hopefully, she is. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Perfect. Yo. You say you don't drink? I don't drink, I'll just drink. Just a little, but not too. Let me, I just don't have fun. Yet. Latinas Bro, so they don't so so they like, don't find anything wrong with just the same customer following them throughout the whole store. I know how to eat. All right, all right, all right. So what, how about this? Which one would you drink with me? Bella Rosa. Huh? What's Bella? That's the one you're gonna drive with me. Yeah. That's the one you're gonna drive with me. Right now. Yeah. Which one? So this is the black one, bro. They're all black. Or they appear okay. to be black. That's it? All right. So I got garlic bread, got some microwavable rice. So when we, we when we gonna eat this together? Yeah, I think that's good. Huh? That'd be good. This'll be good? Okay. Okay, I don't know if she didn't hear the question yeah, here. Yeah, or I, she I, just... I was gonna say, it, it didn't sound like she, she you feel me? But I mean, I think I think the way he went about it was kind of corny. I mean, like asking for all this stuff and then be like, "Oh, when we gonna eat this to get?" Like I don't know, bro. It didn't. It 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 ain't really hit. Like sometimes, sometimes, bro. Some some sometimes you just you just gotta understand that like the moment is not there. So sometimes you just gotta let the bait or not the bait the uh the the motherfucking the the. Motherfucking shorty get away. You go you you know what I'm saying? Sometimes listen, listen. Sometimes you gotta turn down a good shot for a great shot. And in this instance, he should have turned down the good shot for a great shot. Just ignored it. But she dodged that good. Well, I'm about to take off, but listen, I don't want to say thank you. I just wanna also say cute as Let me grab your number. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not wanna... I'm, listen, I'm not gonna stop the video there. I want to see if she actually gives them the safe. number. Cute as Let me grab your number. Let me grab your number. Yeah? I got a girlfriend. I'm teasing. I'm messing with you. Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah? Well, let me grab your Instagram at least. 
Did she just walk away from him? Oh, she said no and walked away. I asked one more time. I'm gonna grab it. No? All right, well. I want to say thank you at least, all right? Thanks. Bro, first, first off, first off. <laughs> My dog said, bro, you don't, you don't talk to a girl that you just met like that. You feel me? Like, you can't, like, like if, it, if, if it's a girl you know and, like, you in the talking stage or, like, your girlfriend or whatever, you feel me? Like, you can, you can joke around and, and be, be like, yo, like, you cute as shit, like, like, fucking around. But, like, if you for real trying to pursue a female, bro, you don't, you don't, you don't go up to her and be like, yo, you cute as shit. You just don't do that. <laughs> You feel me? Come on, bro. Don't don't curse out of people that you and don't so know. Just yo. like that, Emily like, turns like, down her and be decoy. respectful she at least, man. She doesn't give out her number. She if that doesn't was my give son, out her I slap IG, him which on means the mouth. She doesn't let us go into a phase two. Yikes! I'm gonna put this stuff back. <laughs> bro, so I'm gonna put that stuff back. <laughs> he better than me. I would have left that shit in the like, freezer. I don't know. I feel like if we would have done this in the beginning of our relationship, it probably would have been different. Different. I think she passed. All these no, dudes, bro. They, they keep looking at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. And she was, she kept looking at them. I'm like, uh, oh wow. She kept looking at what? These dudes, bro. Dark? You ain't here? I don't know. I don't know. He he said like something like she kept looking at. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Emily did pass, but it sounded like both Jared and Eric still showed some reservations. Like, wait, wait, wait. What's going through your mind? What are you thinking? I mean. I don't know. No, I guess the only doubts I would have in my mind is like maybe he wasn't attractive enough for her. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe it wasn't, he wasn't her type. really her type. It wasn't her maybe. type. Yeah. Okay. That could be it's, a thing so too. So it sounds like you still almost like still don't really trust it because there might be someone who she will fuck mm -hmm. finds more attractive. Yeah. But so like the still coworker. sounds like you're like kind of like hesitant and not super yeah. trusting of her just yeah. yet. I just feel like it just has to be built more because like she's honestly like stuff she does she kind of like broke it already, but. Uh, What's up like this? Bro, oh me, my like, god, like, bro. Oh. I cannot stand these type of males right here, bro. Some guy could up to oh me my god, and stuff dog. Like, if they're telling me stuff like that, and it kind of builds it back up. You know? yeah. Like I said, you there's already kind First of off, you're already doing too much with this damn loyalty kind of test, and you, you still don't trust makes sense her? To me. Like, this guy wanted to keep it going to a phase two. I don't think he wanted her to fail. I think he just wanted to keep it going to see how she acts with guys that she does consider quote unquote friends or homies. Which again, makes sense considering what she's done to him in the past. Or be nice and put the stuff back. Now let's talk about Jarrett's reservations because this is where things take a twist. Before we get into it though, let's give this girl some credit. Like she did pass this test, didn't give out her number, gotta give credit where credit is due. With that out of the way though, Jarrett would tell us later that he felt like some male employees were giving him looks. Maybe this was God, just damn, him being paranoid, that whole but maybe it button. was true. Maybe just maybe Pull when Emily plug. was distracted or pulled away by the other customer, these guys tipped her off. Maybe these guys noticed Elias suspiciously always trailing Jarrett and they alerted Emily as a courtesy. Maybe they were just trying to look out for her like, hey, these guys are recording a video, be careful. Or maybe they alerted her out of jealousy. I mean, remember guys, the times that Eric caught Emily essentially cheating was with her coworkers. For one guy, he kissed them cheek i think and no, she bro, was trying to go through the entrance i yeah. seen that some random dude no, or no, like no, no. a co-worker oh a co-worker mm -hmm. the other guy his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth like kind of flirting and stuff and then apparently at work they also like kissed and stuff i'm like Oh, damn. That should have been it, It's just a man. conspiracy theory, right? But looking back at the footage, after Emily helped those customers, she made direct eye contact with the camera multiple times. Oh, Something word. she hadn't done when initially just talking to Jared. So it was almost as if she knew it was there now. Either she spotted it or somebody told her. And the fact that Jared said that these guys were all staring at him and giving him looks and she was looking at them just makes me suspicious. Yeah, no, she definitely knows then. Bro, these guys are... <laughs> They're not discreet at all. Look at, <laughs> look at them. They both just like leave the store at the same time. Shortly after wrapping up our test, Eric received an interesting text. Why, hold on. I mean, that's all I could ask for, man, honestly. For right, for right now. She just texted you, literally. Yeah. Oh, so a guy complimented me just letting you know. That's all I could ask for. I just, she was like, uh, I can't. I was like, oh, she was speaking to yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She almost folded. Her her texting you like she that. She did not though, almost fold. This is yeah. what we talked about literally like Thursday, Friday. Like <sighs> I want stuff like this, and I guess this is the first time she's done it. Okay. Yeah. So, but I mean, the thing though is like, bro, it's, she's it's only she's probably only doing that because she's seen the camera. That we had like long ago, so like I don't know why it had it took so long just to like for it to happen now. Yeah. Throughout the whole relationship, I've never like even though she's done that stuff, I've never like stopped 
liking her in a way. Like, mm. I think I'm really in deep for her and stuff. It's just, like, I guess it's stuff that hurts, but it's just more like... Remember what I, I told y'all earlier? Trust, there's a difference between Maybe treating like your girl out. good <laughs> and being a simp. I hate to sound like this, but honestly, Emily sending Eric that text makes me even more suspicious. Again, I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I can't help but think that she's trying to save face or look good. She caught on or she was tipped off. All of you guys are out, it was kind of funny though. Man, and then she walked away, I'm like, I gotta like, take a lap, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, but he had to hold day, that though, this is all our fault. Like, we should have approached this test differently. We should have ensured Eric a deeper test with a one on one alone conversation with our decoy. No distractions, no customers, no co workers. This one was for sure on us. We were just too ambitious with it. Do you think your trust will ever fully come back for her? I mean, as long as she keeps doing like good like this, I don't <laughs> see why there's stuff that I gotta doubt for. Okay. Yo! Yeah. Well. Yeah. Show her the video, and I'm sure every guy who hits on her, she's gonna think it's a test. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> every guy who walks up to her now and compliments her, she's gonna be yeah, like, like, "Where's, where's, where's Eric?" Eric? <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be like, "Where's the camera?" It, well, when I came over, another couple came, and they were like, um, they were asking her for stuff, so it like interrupted while I was trying to talk yeah. to her. Yeah. And I had to like get back in character, but I mean it was it was cool, man. Said, what is get it back that he said towards the end? I think she was looking at the oh oh the guy workers like they like they were like they kept glancing at me, and so I'm like it's because you're flashy, so I don't know. But they kept look, they kept looking they at me. Cousins. She would look at them. Yo yeah 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 yeah. Bam, stop glazing, Jose. Like. Flashy, so. I don't know. But they kept. Like, bro, they look kept... at look at the way he. Look, look so, at this dude. Like, it's because you're flashy, so. It, it, it's because you're flashy, and then he started blushing, yo. Know, they kept look, they kept looking at me. She would look at them, so I. Kind of awkward a little bit. Oh, this dude was, is a fucking uh, simp, man. It's like two guys. One had a hat backwards, I think it was. Then a light skin. He's dude. just a natural but, born uh, blazer. But no, I almost got, it, almost got it. You, yeah, man, you're lucky. That's good. Yeah. yeah. No, but I was telling him though, like, I just feel like if this energy would have been th towards the beginning of the relationship, it would have been way better. But, I mean, it's cool. Like, it would have been way better. I did, and all that. Yeah. Now, do you think she's gonna let you know about this? Yeah, she did already. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she texted him. Oh damn. <laughs> okay. So God complimented, just letting you know. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Jeez. She didn't see the Benz though, so you know. Yeah. It was a full oh wow. <laughs> Regardless of our reservations and how overly ambitious this test was, they gotta I try another dude, bro. Passed. They can't just leave yeah, it like our this. Our test is already over, but Emily did the best thing she could possibly do, which is not give out her number or her Instagram. And I wish I could wish these two nothing but the best, but unfortunately, they broke up. Yep. They broke up. What's up, Sergio? Really dope to hear from you, man. Been loving the vids. They are bangers, still glazing. And well, me and her are, are, bro, holy fuck, I can't read. Hold on, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't clip this shit, y'all. All right, and well, me and her finished, bro, as much I love her, as much I, see, see, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it's this dude, bro. This dude cannot type. And well, me and her finished, bro, as much I loved her and wanted the best with her. They you... didn't break up because of this test. They broke up. Because Emily cheated. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Fam, 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 fam. The, I mean, the signs were there. Uh, there are bangers. Me and her are finished. And you just can't. You just can't really change, bro. This dude. This dude cannot fucking type, bruh. Where the fuck did you go to school? I just can't really change someone's mind slash ways. Some other stuff happened, so I just let it be. Just been working and doing me, hitting the gym and playing soccer, lol. Like I told you when we met, I don't really converse okay. yeah. much. I'm shy. Go figure. I have two, two guy friends that work there, and they always kind of like kept an eye out for stuff. They would tell me, like, oh, she's doing this, she's doing that. So I guess when we're doing the video, right, my friend said he saw one of the co workers with her, like doing some stuff. Uh, I ended up getting mad too, and then I ended up going to the store. I was honestly gonna kick his ass, but then I thought about it, I was like, bro, because that was the, 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 the first thing he said when I caught him, he was like, get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops. And I'm like, bro, I'm not sure if she kept 
doing stuff with that guy. But then there was this, this other shoe that worked there too that I thought we were cool, but he ended up like, I guess, talking shit down my back and stuff. Like saying like, Damn. oh, why are you with that guy? You deserve better and stuff. Damn, like, bro, like, it really be your home, bro. bro. It really... Damn, oh my God. Oh my God, that is crazy. That is so like, crazy. Oh, like, you know how girls are, they say, don't worry about him, he's nothing, and then they end up doing some stuff, like, but then to top it off after, like, I think there was another dude, like, kind of manager, that... Okay, I am not gonna throw too much business out there. I think you guys get the point. Like yeah, nah, bro, she cheated, and I mean, to for, for, him, for him to say that he was gonna go in there and, like, fight the dude, that just, it just makes no sense. Like, why? You feel me? You don't... The, the dude doesn't owe you anything. The girl the girl owes you loyalty and respect, and she's not giving you that, so why So why would you go after the dude? Now, now, hold on. I ain't saying... I, I ain't saying you go to your girlfriend and you Chris Breezer and shit, all right? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But, 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 but why get angry at the dude when he doesn't owe you anything? That's something for you to go ahead and talk to your girl about. And then after everything, you feel me? Let her go. Let her go. You can either just dump her or you could just get some type of closure and then get out of there. But do not, bro. Fellas, do never, never do that, bro. Never like said, fight the, the dude that doesn't owe you anything. If this wants man. to be doing all of this and talking to other guys or whatever, that's fine. Just stay single. She's obviously pretty and stuff. Like, obviously, other guys try getting at her, but it's like it's on her to like obviously not entertain them and stuff. <sighs> Fucking sad, bro. Fucking sad. I, bro, if I can never imagine my son doing like this type of shit, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> a fucking loyalty test. And and this dude already knew that he cheated and flirted and did all this shit. And you still wanted to do this test for what reason? It makes literally no sense, my guy. But anyways, though, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, of course, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to follow me on more platforms for more content, make sure you guys visit my description. I got four links in there with all that being said. Make sure you spend your mama main page.